Hey everyone. So in my last episode, I posted that we went to RC track, right? And we obviously showcased several cars and most of the cars that I've worked on on the actual track here in Seattle, on the Fury and SeaTac track. Now what was interesting was that I thought this would perform up to par with the other cars and it actually didn't. And why it didn't is after I went and got one of these RPM measures, digital tachometers, I found out these are rated at 17,000 RPMs at 7.4 volts. It's terrible. It's actually very terrible. Why do I say it's terrible? Because I went and replaced these motors with two motors that produce 26,000 RPMs at 7,000 at 7.4 volts, which is probably exactly what I needed instead of instead of these. Now why I thought these were so special were they have strong magnets in them and they also have uh, copper brushes inside. And I mean with, with, with copper blocks, not just the copper tabs. And so uh, I think they have potential. So in this episode what we're going to do, I've already done the motor swap. In this episode what we're actually going to do is our own custom winding on these brushed motors because that's the real goal we want the original motor turns out had 20,000 rpms at 7.4 volts the motors i put in are 6,000 more rpms than that and these are 10,000 rpms less we need to increase this and change this immediately. So I've already went and bought some copper winding, enameled wire, what do they call it? Magnet motor wiring, motor rotor winding. And uh, I've gone through a couple of the, uh, the rotors I've got, different variations, different colors for I don't know what reasons, maybe temperatures, I'm not sure. There are definitely different turns because there's more copper on some than there are on others. So I've selected a few actually, I've selected two. Two armatures I'm going to take the windings off of and out of that we are going to go ahead and change up cut off change up to our new coil windings to a different number much lower number in turns yes this is what I want right here The reason why I chose this is because it actually has a, a good copper contact. These both do. And I'm going to need two. I don't know what the difference is in RPM and temperature. But we're definitely going to find out, aren't we? This is all an experiment. I know this looks messy. I finally got my 45 turns on.
this looks good. 45 turn. Let's see how it does. Twenty-one thousand. Okay. And so that's that's how many turns it takes. It takes 30 turns, 0.3 gauge motor wire. Seven thousand RPM. Yes. So now I've achieved what I put into the vet. So I can duplicate the process for other cars as well. I'm excited. Now I got some plans in mind. All right, so now I've got this baby labeled at 27k, 30 turn, brass connectors, 0.3 wires. Off to the side. At well, least twins, twins of them, but wow. This is going to my custom built box. K out there, so I've got to make that 30k. So back to the point five. This time it's gonna be 24 turns. Looks like a. Point two is coming off. It's a great sign. Serious RPMs coming here. No way. Wow. 
making another one. Brass, carbon tips. Alright, so the original speed on this motor 7.4 volts was 17k. And now uh, we're gonna see. We've got function. Getting pretty good, it looks like. Forty-one. That's what's up. Forty thousand RPMs. Yes. Forty thousand RPMs. Now we gotta see how much torque we can handle. This is awesome. 